welcome everyone. Another book on our Halloween theme today at Cindy Harper Speaks. And this was one is entitled The Legend of Spooky the Square Pumpkin. So this is Spooky. He's a square pumpkin. It's written by Jill Troiano and it's illustrated by Susan Banta. One day in the pumpkin patch, the strangest little pumpkin hatched. Spooky wasn't like his friends where they had curves, he had ends. Spooky was different, he was odd, he was rare. Spooky, the pumpkin, wasn't round. He was square. While the round pumpkins had fun rolling along, poor Spooky sat there shaped all wrong. He tried and tried with all his might, but he couldn't budge. He just sat tight. The other pumpkins teased him because he was square. Spooky wished he was round and could roll everywhere. That is until one night when they all discovered it's fine to be round when the weather is fair, but there are times it's better to be a square. Halloween was just a day away when a mighty storm blew across the bay. It tossed the round pumpkins to and fro. It snapped their vines, then off they'd go. Bouncing left, slamming right, banging, bashing. What a sight. Spooky sat there filled with fright, but glad to be a square that night. Suddenly, the fence gave way. Three pumpkins rolled out and into the bay. Spooky knew what must be done. It was up to him. He was the one. He teetered. He tottered. He tipped. He tried and finally flipped. He was on his side. Again he tipped, again he flopped, again he flipped, and then he stopped right in the gap where the fence had snapped. He blocked the way, the hole was capped. All the pumpkins shouted, hooray! Spooky the square pumpkin had saved the day. Then a pumpkin hit him with a whack. He thought his shell would start to crack. Then another one hit him with a thump and another one with a snap. Then one by one, a ton of pumpkins piled on the stack with a bang and a bash and a crunch and a crash. And then it all went black. Spooky's way down there. They all rolled on top of them. At dawn, when the storm had stopped, the farmer came out and checked his crop. He picked his pumpkins up one by one and laid them out in the warm, dry sun. And when the last was moved away, the farmer could see what had saved the day. An odd-shaped pumpkin, short and dense, was wedged against the broken fence. Its shell was bruised, its stem was too, but there was brave little spookly sitting straight and strong and true. Right then and there, the farmer knew of all the seeds he'd ever sown, spookleys were the most special that had ever grown. And the next year when it was time to sow, he sowed those seeds in every row. He watered and weeded and watched them grow. And oh, that morning about mid-June, when the pumpkin patch began to bloom, there were tiny pumpkins everywhere, hundreds and hundreds, most of them square. But some were cubes and some rectangle. Some were flat. So cube, rectangle. Some were flat, 
and others triangle. There was a bed of bright red ones and two rows of blue. There were polka dot pumpkins and rainbow ones too. There were thousands of colors and hundreds of shapes. Oh, what a garden variety makes. Now every year on Halloween, Spookly's Patch is quite a scene. People come from far and near to see what wonders grew that year. They stop, they gawk, they gaze, they stare. Then they pick a pumpkin that's round, triangular, or perfectly square. Now you know the story of how Spookly grew. Maybe someday if you tell someone too, they'll go tell someone, we'll go tell another, and maybe one day we all will discover you can't judge a book or a pumpkin by its cover. So the legend of Spookly, the square pumpkin. Oh, we are all different for a reason. We all fulfill different purposes in life. So we should embrace the differences and not belittle because people don't conform into what we think they should be. Goes for pumpkins too. We learned a good lesson from Spookly. So the legend of Spookly, the square pumpkin. First, I called them spooky. Didn't see that L there. So spooky. If you liked it, press like at the end. And I'll see you next time at Cindy Harper Speaks. Thanks for tuning in and bye for now.